Hi there, and welcome everybody to uh, today's uh, webinar. Um, this presentation is about what's new in SharePoint 2013. And joining me today is uh, Serena Shaw, um, one of the business consultants within Jacobs. Um, for those of you um, who are not aware, um, in November last year, Jacobs acquired Unique World. So I'm sure many of you are very familiar with the Unique World brand, perhaps not so much with the Jacobs brand. Um, so you'll be increasingly seeing Jacobs being represented in um, you know, some of the conferences, for example, Share 2013 in just a few months' time. So thank you for those who have joined in today. Um, my name is Rob Cheney. I'm the Head of Technical Consulting with Jacobs. Um, I've been with the company for around eight years. Um, today's presentation is very exciting for, for all of us. Um, the first um, of the public presentations we've given on SharePoint 2013 stack. Um, now, this is a business-facing um, um, presentation, I might hasten to add, and it's based on the technical preview. So SharePoint 2013 is not actually officially released yet. Um, so this is based on the information we have to hand so far. And at the end of this presentation, I'll be sharing with you how you can um, demo and preview the capabilities in SharePoint 2013 yourselves now. Um, so um, without further ado, I'll pass it over to um, Fiona, who will take you through the rest of today's presentation. We're going to talk today around social and collaboration, content management, cloud app model, mobility, search, web standards, and workflow. And these are all some of the new and exciting things that we're going to see in SharePoint 2013. Most excited, really, uh, personally I am around, is the improvement in usability and the general look and feel in SharePoint 2013. And they are still using a ribbon, but they have brought a lot more controls to the top level. So site management is a lot easier and it is also a lot more visually appealing. And hopefully you feel that excitement as you're going through and seeing those screens. So let's start with social and collaboration. And first of all, let's just say that social does get a big boost in SharePoint 2013. And for those of you who are currently on SharePoint 2007, you're going to see a dramatic improvement here. And it really does build on the features and functionality that were introduced in 2010. And, and as I say, um, it does give you that very much improved look and feel, and it's very accessible by the end user. So some of the key areas that we, you see are community sites, they've made a, a big improvement to modernize the dashboard, as uh, the discussion board, and there's also now the ability to enhance sort of the reputation and the badges to improve and encouraging people with their user adoption. So for those of you who've heard and read around gamification, this will support that approach of encouraging users to uptake the use of SharePoint within your organization. There's also a follow and share option now, not only just that we use PAD in SharePoint 2010 with tags, and people, there's now documents and sites. And also there's been big improvements around the activity feeds, um, including the activities of interest and the mentions. Look first of all now at the community site template. So first of all, pointing out, as I said, um, a huge enhancement on the look and feel. Looks a lot more like other social networking tools that we've been using um, outside of the organization. So what we can see here is a community site, and this could be used for knowledge sharing in your organization, and really it's an enhanced discussion forum. So what we can see here is you can have your welcome section, you've got your rolled up discussions, and on the right hand side you can have your members and their reputation. So this is really just the site template, which has been enhanced for SharePoint 2013. They've made big improvements on the discussion forums. So first of all, they've got the option, as they had in SharePoint 2010, for you to add categories onto your discussion forums. But they've now given these new tiles, and so you can easily go and customize, and you can quickly see how many discussions are going on, what replies are there, and you can quickly just then or to organize your discussion forums in that way. Now, on the right-hand side, as you can see, once you're in that discussion, there's sort of two different options. You can have discussions or you can have questions. So they've built out that you can have them all within the same area, but you can have those two options. If you select question, you'll see you get this best reply. It automatically pushes that up to the top. Again, enhancing the user experience, giving you the right information at the right time. So also, you can have, uh, you've got using discussions that the option they have there is feature discussions. So you can, again, 
bring those up to the, the what's hot idea. So you can either manage that yourself or you can let end users generate that type of feedback for you. Other area to point out here is the moderation. So there was a gap in SharePoint 2010. And if you're going to go down the social approach, people often feel a bit concerned around moderation. You now have that option out of the box to, to get involved in using these community sites. They've got reputation and badges. So again, these can be set up based around each community. So it's probably a recommendation would be that the community manager or internet manager within your organization gives out guidance on how points should be achieved. So for example, you may give one point if somebody likes something, five if they respond, and maybe 100 points if they give the best response. And then people can change them as they want for within that organization. So as I said, this really supports the, the gamification idea. So share and follow, again, another new feature. So in SharePoint 2010, you were able to look at and, and follow tags and people, but now you can share and follow any page or site, depending on where, how you want to use them. So you can share externally, but they will obviously need to have access. You can then click on follow, and then on your My Site, you will see a web part that says what you're following. So if we just have a look at the I'm following feature, so here's that web part that I was talking around. You can see it's broken down by people, documents, sites, and tags. And you can easily identify then in your news feed what interests you have. So um, it enables you to quickly see what colleagues are following as well, so you can find out this information on other colleagues. And it really gives you quick access to the content that you need. So let's talk a little bit then around the My Site. So what we see, first of all, is the enhancement on the, the news feed. So the idea is very similar. You can have it broken down now, though, by company and by mentions. And I think a, a massive improvement, not only in the look and feel, but it's also now that you have the ability to actually reply to somebody on the page. So it's no longer reliant on that note board feature that we used to have. Again, in your news feed, you'll have all your activities, your likes, and any company feeds, and your mentions. Also worth pointing out that now when you um, share an update, you can determine who you share that with, something that many people felt should have been there in SharePoint 2010, but is now there in SharePoint 2013. You are also able to add apps, so using mentions and links now, and photos within your status updates. So again, big improvements for you to actually start that more social interaction. So as I just said, there is the option to have mentions. So this is something that we've seen the sort of standard functionality around other web tools. And so basically you use the app and then you can point it to a particular person. So this is enabling you to bring key knowledge people into a conversation. So if, for example, um, I was in a conversation and I wanted to ask something more technical, I could use an app, Rob Cheney, and then Rob would get that automatically updated in his news feed. And if he wanted, he could get an email notification on that one. So it can bring him into that and start to enable a bit more social business to occur within your organization around the connections people have. Um, you can also filter by mentions. Now, I think the question that was asked around um, where does news go to fit into all of this, well, unfortunately, at the moment, that mentions is only at the people level, whereas if you've got a product like NewsGator that integrates with SharePoint, you can actually do it to teams as well. So um, they have kind of gone some of the way there, but not to the full um, integration that other people may have expected if they've seen or been looking at NewsGator, for example. The other improvement we've seen is not only in your personal view, but how your public profile is displayed. So as I mentioned, you've got that indentation of conversations that have occurred. So it's not just noteboard to noteboard. And you can actually start to track where that conversation led, who else got involved in it. And some other features is the, the tags and notes is still there, the org chart, the common the common ground and the share areas that you have. So for those of you that are in SharePoint 2007, these are features that were introduced in the My Site in SharePoint 2010, and they're now um, brought through into SharePoint 2013. And a blog is still remaining exactly the same. Somebody asked that question. And um, so that, that functionality is, is remaining exactly the same. It still sits within your My Site. You can still categorize it. It has had the improvement in look and feel, though. 
the other big improvement and um, for from my point of view as well is that finally your tasks are all pulled up and displayed in your my site so here we can see um, on my my site I can click to look at my tasks so again if you're trying to engage in adoption and um, it can be that you say to people hey if you started in your my site you could go through and look at all your tasks for the day and then start to move on from there also to point out you do get that task integration if you are an Outlook user, so you can have your tasks in SharePoint and in Outlook and you get that integration there for your management of your time. So what we have here is we have the customizable timeline, so it's enable you to see um, what's coming up and, and what needs to be done. And it's, as I mentioned, it's pulling up all the tasks from all your different team sites or any other place that you may be allocated tasks. And um, so you can see them all in one place. And they are then grouped. So if you make something important, it will be grouped by that. If it's upcoming in, in a few days, you'll also be able to see by which site they've been actually assigned to you in. So say, for example, I work over five projects, I would see it broken down by those project sites as well. So um, I think this is a massively exciting improvement for, for people to actually start to use SharePoint for their day-to-day -day work. Okay, so let's go to talk a little bit around the, the team site. So, as I mentioned, you do have those community sites, so they could be used for perhaps knowledge sharing, whereas team sites could still be used for, for project work. So they have made some enhancements for the social activities that you might like to have in your team site. Before I talk about pointing out some of those, just want to say, hopefully everyone notices the huge improvement in look and feel for a team site. It looks a lot more like what we're used to seeing in other online tools. So they've used these tiles for quick up and for quick um, establishment of your team site. So you can choose who you share with, um, manage your tasks, do your branding, etc., as required. Um, and then you've got the, the nice sort of interactive button, so you can see that new document one just under document. So they've enhanced it, they've brought it, as I said, all the actions that you want to do are very much to the forefront of the user's attention. <laughs> so really I think from a business benefit is that you're no longer going to need to go and make a large amount of customizations to team sites to encourage people to actually use them. So I just want to point out some of the social features that will now be coming into team sites. So we've got the news feed now, so each team site has their news feed, so they've got an activity stream of what's been going on. So that fits just within that team site, so if somebody uploads a new document, that would appear in there. If somebody shares something, it will appear in there. As I mentioned, you can't actually use the app to point um, information to appear in that news feed though, so it's just pulling actions and activities from within that site itself. Another big improvement um, from my point of view, which I think is very exciting, is the document. So you'll see here that the document library now enables when I click on these three little dots, it gives me a preview. So first things you can see is you can see a nice preview of that document, but also you can see information like how many people have viewed that document which if you're actually tracking the use of documentation and which documents are the, are the most used within your site, then that's a really quick, easy way to go and do it. They've also given you the ability to share and follow documents. So you can quickly share with a colleague, you just click on to share and away it would go. So just talking around um, the documents and just to briefly mention about the Office web apps, they are now a lot more integrated in SharePoint 2013. So it's quick and easy to use the different types of documents. So here you see when I do new documents, I've got the option to very easily create a lot of different file types. Now, some of you may have gone down the, the content types and attaching document templates to those. You can still do that. But what you don't have to do anymore is add all the different types if you wanted to have automatically enable people to create a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. And also got the ability now when you click on your document to do upload existing file. So you can actually quickly go and do that. And a few of you have asked around the drag and drop. And they've encouraged um, the use of Open with Windows Explorer view. So that's going to enhance it, this sort of the ease of adding documents into document libraries as well for people. Okay, so, so they were the, the highlights really or the, the top features that I think will come in to support the social. Now we're going to go and talk around some of the other exciting features that are coming in SharePoint 2013.
staircase.